Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC, and today I have something new for show and tell. This is pretty awesome. This is an Avant Quad. They have a few different versions available on their site. You might not have seen these guys before yet, but check out the carbon fiber on this one. It's a nice blue carbon fiber all the way around on the top and the sides, and it has some pretty nice specs on here. But before I get too far into it, this is the NEX4 on their site. It's on avantquads.com. And I have some pretty decent motors on here. These are available on their site. They're the Emax 2205. And let's see, let's double check. These are the 2600 KV motors on there. So these are the good ones, guys. And we've got a Maytech PDB on there with an SP Racing F3 up there, an Acro Edition. And I already have my FR Sky receiver in there as well with the antennas coming out the back and I've got that single pole antenna working for me. That's been pretty good for my demos. I have an XT60 mounted on the side of the PDB over here on the Maytech here and we have four inch props on here and we have a four mil bottom plate so it's very durable. I've done some testing with this and I already had some really close calls with the copter. I also hit the dragon tail, the dragon slider uh, with this one since it is a top mount battery. There's plenty of slide on the bottom of it for that. It's a perfect candidate for a slider or a freestyle or if you're going to use it for racing, it'll kick ass for racing too. Very, very nice. And it flies great in the air. I have it on beta flight right now and it's, it's pretty well tuned. You'll see in some of the video I'll play just after this little review that it is pretty much dialed in in beta flight. The default pits feel really really good so up front also I have a run cam swift and that's pretty standard these days mounts right inside there so that's your standard size camera that fits in this frame now some cool aspects of this frame are you know this unibody design on the bottom here and then if you look at it from the top see if I can get it in frame here if you look at it from the top you see that it tapers in the back and that's that's different for some quads out there. Normally they come straight back and they're kind of squared off the same shape in the front as they are the back. But what this does is this gives you a little less weight. And on a 180, if you can shave a little bit of weight off and you can increase the power ratio. So that's what's cool about that. A tapered end is allowing for just as plenty of room for the VTX to be mounted back here but still it's going to shave quite a bit of weight off the frame. So that's very smart by those guys to do that. Um, I haven't seen a lot of quads out there like that, but that's a really nice feature that they did that. Now I have 20 amp ESCs on this one and that's just fine for 4S. Uh, you don't want to go above that, but I was testing the Tattoo R-Line batteries on this. This is a 95C battery and using this battery on this quad it's the perfect size. If you go 1500 it's going to be too big so anything above 1300 it's going to fly a little bit heavy but you know what this 1300 4S that's where it's at so I'll go ahead and put it on the quad for you and I'll give you a weight count with this battery on there. Okay so let's set it on the scale see what we get. With the battery it's 476 grams not too bad it's pretty competitive weight wise. Now let's take the battery off and put it on there with the battery off, see what we get. And I'm at 305 grams. Not bad, guys. I generally like to fly five inch quads, but you know, this is nice because you have the same power system on here as what you would have on a five inch quad. I mean, you have the same exact motors on here that you'd have on something like a 210. You can run 20 amp ESCs on a 210. Um, so essentially you have way less weight on this versus something like a 210. However, you know, you've, you're gonna take some, some cuts with the four inch props, but you still have a huge power to weight ratio with this. It's a very, very powerful quad. And I feel like for freestyle, it's outstanding for freestyle. Uh, I took it out to some uh, rock pit out on the coast of Oregon that I'm gonna show you in the end of this video. You're gonna see some pretty awesome performance out of this thing. So I was full throttling over top of trees and diving back down into the pit in the canyon. And uh, I, I did, like I said before, I did um, 
have a really close encounter when I was flying this one. And I'd hate to see this one damaged or ruined, but uh, sometimes, you know, you want to get a nice shot when you're doing freestyle and you'll take some chances. But uh, I didn't crash, which is really awesome. Unbelievable that I didn't. But you can change BL Heli on these. It does have BL Heli on this. These are little bees, so you can do some changes. And on Avant's website, by the way, if you go to their website, you can pretty much build one of these. I have all the parts and pieces on their site, so you can put one together and order one and build it yourself. Uh, the build is doesn't really take any longer than anything else out there to build. It's pretty stock the way it comes and it's a very standard build. There's not a lot of weird pieces and parts and components that are going to surprise you when you go to build this. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. So you got your center stack, your VTX above your receiver, and everything stacks up in here quite nice. Camera up front as usual. And you can do a vertical mount VTX pole in the back if you want to, or you can do a, a rear out the rear mount which is normally how I like to do it so I don't have anything sticking up but this pole antenna will be just fine for what I'm using it for but it's a very very nice quad all steel components and standoffs no plastic stuff uh, on the edge of this frame and it looks super punky and super super durable to me and the camera has plenty of protection in the front as well. So it's nicely shielded inside the frame. But I've raced other guys on the track who were flying 180s and I was flying a 250 size or a 5 inch and these guys were smoking me because one, they're better flyers, but two, they were able to corner really really well and handle a smaller course with a quads this size uh, around 180s it can fly on smaller proximity courses and you can you can win races with 180s no problem but this is a really decent frame uh, one of the coolest frames one of the cooler frames that I've seen come in um, in quite some time I was pretty excited to open the box and see how cool this carbon looked on here and you've got a 2 mil top plate by the way so that's a little thicker than what you generally get for a top plate generally companies are making them 1.5 so it's decent that they give you a uh, 2 mil top plate. They, they kind of uh, get it, so to speak, these guys do. So this is the NEX X4 Blue Edition race frame. I think, I think on their site right now they're like $55 or so. Not a bad price for the frame. If you want to put your own components and ESCs on it, you could do that too and do your own custom build. But it's a pretty decent quad. Hope you guys enjoyed checking that one out and following the video be sure to stick around because we're going to show you some of that awesome canyon footage uh, where I do dip down into the rocks and uh, survive a, a pretty good hit on the way in. So enjoy the video guys. This has been the Avant. This is the NEX X4 Blue Edition racing frame. Check them out. See you guys on the next one.